we're going to talk about surviving as a kid. It's tough being a kid, and we're going to go over some basics that you need to know. Get ready! So, if you really want to survive, no. If you want to win at being a kid, it just takes knowing and doing the basics. It's not that complicated. And here's the first thing. Are you ready for it? Put God first. Why do you think this is the first thing we're talking about? Because it's important. Even as kids, we should make God a priority. You know, let him know that he's first in our lives. We're all busy, right? With school and homework and chores. We don't have a whole lot of free time left. But instead of just playing video games and sports and hanging out with friends, we should find time to spend with God, too. Let's do an experiment. Here is a bowl. It represents your life. This is a huge candy bar. Pretty big, huh? These are red fish candies. Medium sized. These little guys are Skittles. Do you think all of this will fit into this bowl? Let's find out. Let's try pouring the smallest things in first. Now let's put in the medium fish candies. Now the Kit Kat. Well, that didn't work. Let's try it another way. This time, let's put the big things in first. It fits! Wait a second. I think there's a lesson here. If we put the big things in first, everything will fit right. And in your own life, what could be bigger than God? Our memory verse for today says, Love the Lord with all your heart, soul, and strength. That's putting God first. And there are three ways to do that every week. First, pray. That's an easy thing to do every week. Second, read the Bible. You know, like practicing your memory verse every week. Third, talk about it. Talk about God in your classroom and at home. So, want to survive and win as a kid? Just remember the basics, starting with this. Put God first. Today we're going to talk about another kid basic. The second thing you need to know to survive as a kid. Let's talk about obedience. Get, Get ready. What are some of the rules in your house? Clean your room, take out the garbage, do your homework, no fighting. Maybe you don't like rules. I don't always either. But you know what? Obeying our parents is really important. We should do it for two reasons. First, we should obey God because the Bible says so. Our memory verse says, Obey your parents, for this pleases the Lord. Now, if you don't have a parrot, you can always obey your dog or your cat. No, not your parrot. Your parents. Obey your parents. Oh, that makes more sense. Now, I don't know about you, but if obeying your parents pleases God, then that's what I want to do. So we're done, right? That's it. Obey your parents because the Bible says so. No, there's another reason. We should also obey our parents for our protection. Let me demonstrate with this hula hoop. This is a big O for obedience. Think of obeying like staying inside the boundaries, you know, inside the circle. Stay inside the boundaries your parents have set and you are safe. Step outside the circle, and the masked menace will get you. So one time, my mom told me to do my homework. But I really wanted to watch my favorite TV show. And another time, my parents told me to stop bugging my sister, but she just looks so lonely. And when my dad asked me to take out the garbage, I kind of got distracted on the way. Get the idea? Just obey. It's for your protection. 
And one more thing. If you want to survive and win as a kid, then don't forget the ice. It's a simple way to remember how to obey. We should obey immediately, cheerfully, and exactly. So kids, don't forget. Obey your parents. Kids, today we're going to talk about the last thing every kid needs to know to survive and win as a kid. It's all about how you treat others. Get ready. Let's see. We've already talked about two basics that every kid needs to know. And our last kid basic is real simple. Treat others right. Be nice to every kid. You know, not just your friends. Even the kids you don't like that much. Don't say mean things behind kids' backs. You know, when they're not sitting with you at lunch or when they're not playing kickball with you, just don't talk about them. Just don't say mean things about them when they're not there or when they are there. And treat others how you want to be treated. Does that sound familiar? It's called the golden rule. It's our memory verse today. Do to others whatever you would like them to do to you. Matthew 7, 12. It's pretty simple. If you want to survive and win at being a kid, remember the third basic. Treat others right.